the National Historical Commission of the Philippines exhibit these paintings by Adan Pesito and Roderick Makutay. The people portrayed here are just a few of many Filipinos who exhibited valor in various ways during the Second World War, fighting directly against occupation forces, organizing resistance groups, and healing the sick and wounded to name a few. Digital copies of these paintings will be made available online in support of Memorandum Circular No. 25, which mandates the display of portraits of heroes in government buildings in lieu of those of incumbent officials. These are free for download and print as long as credits are given to the NHCP as owners of the artwork. Born in San Fernando City, Pampanga, he served as Secretary of Justice from 1922 to 1923, 1928 to 1932, and 1938 to 1941, and was appointed both as Chief Justice and Secretary of Finance, Agriculture, and Commerce in December 1941. When President Manuel L. Quezon left Corregidor for the United States in March 1942, Abad Santos was appointed as officer in charge of the Commonwealth in the Philippines. Unfortunately, he was captured by the Japanese and executed for refusing to cooperate with them on May 1, 1942 in Malabang, Lanao del Sur. Born in Manila, he joined as a reserve officer in 1936 and became the commander of the 61st Provisional Regiment of the United States Army Forces in the Far East. Rather than surrender to the Japanese, he established the Free Panay Guerrilla Forces on July 1, 1942, which became one of the best organized in the country. His forces helped liberate Panay Islands in March 1945. He was elected as a senator from 1949 to 1955 and served as a defense secretary from 1962 to 1965. Born in Calamba, Laguna, he graduated from the United States Military Academy in West Point in 1914. He then became part of the United States Army and taught various military courses until he joined the Philippine Army in 1936. In the advent of the Second World War in the Philippines, he became Commanding General of the 41st Infantry Division. He helped defend Bataan, survived the death march, and then joined the guerrilla movement. He was captured in June 1944, incarcerated in Fort Santiago, and was believed to be executed that year. Born in Bustos, Bulacan, to a family of modest, means he worked as a prison warden in 1933, policeman in 1934, and a soldier in the Philippine Army in 1938. He helped defend Bataan in 1942 and escaped the death march to resist the Japanese, establishing the Bulacan military area in 1943. His unit helped liberate Bulacan in July 1945 and assisted Allied engagement in Nueva Vizcaya, Pangasinan, Pampanga, Ifugao, and Rizal. In 1945, he briefly served as military governor of Bulacan until he was elected as representative of its second district the following year. He was able to serve in the capacity only briefly but was re-elected in 1949. He also served as governor of Bulacan between 1951 to 1957 a member of the Reparations Commission in 1958, Secretary of National Defense in 1951-1961, and Anti-Crime Coordination Secretary between 1967-1971. Born in Lubuagan, Kalinga, Magdalena was trained to be a deaconess of the United Evangelical Church when the war began. While she was detained by the Japanese, she learned Nihongo. After her release, she joined the United States Armed Forces in the Philippines, North Luzon, as a spy. She passed on important intelligence data, 
video parts, and medical supplies. She escaped capture three times and the fourth time evaded execution by bribing a guard. She then enlisted in the Philippine Army in 1969. She moved to the United States where she died at the age of 95. Born in Piquit, Cotabato, he passed the Philippine Bar in 1938, was appointed to the Cotabato Provincial Board shortly thereafter, and elected to it in 1940. When the Second World War broke out, he was activated as a third lieutenant in the USAF. He co-established a guerrilla group with Datu Udtog Matalam in his native province which attacked Japanese units and liberated prisoners of war. After the war, he was appointed governor, elected senator between 1946 to 1949, congressman between 1958 to 1972, and assemblyman in 1984 to 1985. He also served as Speaker Pro Tempore of the House Representatives 1962-1967 and the regular Batasang Pambansa in 1984-1985. Born in Mexico, Pampanga, she featured in her town's beauty pageants. Unfortunately, the torture and execution of his father at the hands of the Japanese encouraged her to join the Hukbong Bayan Laban sa Hapon guerrillas in Tarlac. Known for her efficiency and for wearing lipstick to battle, she rose through the ranks and became a commander of squadron. In the end of the war, she stayed with her comrades in their continuing uprising until her capture in February 1947. After her release, she continued to advocate for her fellow Hook veterans. Born in Lawag, Ilocos Norte, he was serving as governor of his home province when the war arrived in the Philippines. He formed the Ablan Madamba guerrilla group of the Northern Luzon in January 1942 and fought in various battles. He was last seen during the Battle of Bumitalag, Pidig. Born in Indan, Camarines Norte, a town now named after him. He served as a delegate in 1934 Constitutional Convention, as governor of his home province in 1940, and as representative the following year. When the war began, he organized a citizen army that fought the Japanese. He was unfortunately captured on July 8, 1942, and was believed to have been killed with his family. Born in Macrohon Leyte, he joined the Philippine Constabulary and was commanding officer of the 81st Infantry Division of the USAF at the advent of the war. He fought the Japanese in Davao and Agusan and was captured. After escaping in December 1942, he formed the guerrilla group. By August 1943, he consolidated all guerrillas in Leyte and by February 1944, they went on the offensive. They assisted the American during the later landings of October 1944. Kang Leon subsequently became governor of Leyte in 1944-1946, Secretary of National Defense in 1946-1950, and Senator to 1950-1958. Born in Misamis Occidental, she co-organized the Women's Auxiliary Service in 1943, which assisted guerrillas by providing them food and shelter, as well as treating the wounded. By the end of the war, around 3,000 had joined the WAS. She subsequently campaigned for its recognition as official military unit. In 1963, the Women's Auxiliary Corps was established and was disbanded in 2013. Born in Casiguran, Sorsogon, he had been serving as governor when the Second World War began in his province. He promptly organized a guerrilla group which engaged in the skirmish of the Japanese and sent information to the Americans. After the war, he continued to function as governor until 1955. 
born in Taal, Batangas. She used what she learned in pharmacy abroad to introduce innovation in food preparation and preservation. She is credited for inventing the palayok oven and the banana ketchup. During the war, she served as a captain in Markings Guerrillas and sent food for internees and fellow guerrillas. She died due to wounds she sustained during the Battle for Manila. Born in Lubao, Pampanga, he led the Southern District, East Central Luzon Guerrilla Area, USAP, which was organized in April 3, 1941. He later established the Pampanga Military District in September 1942. He was elected Governor of Pampanga in 1948-1951, appointed to various offices under the presidency of townmate Diosdado Macapagal, and Pampanga 1st District Representative in 1969-1972. He opposed the Marcos dictatorship and was unfortunately assassinated in 1980. Born near Lingayan, Pangasinan, she gained a medical degree at the University of Santo Tomas. She and nurses Bruna R. Calvan and Carmen Lanot cared for guerrillas in the mountains of Bataan while continuing to operate makeshift hospital in occupied areas and reporting to the Bureau of Health under the Japanese. During the liberation, they were able to reopen a permanent hospital to take care of the sick and wounded. Born in Daet, Camarines Norte, he was a cadet at the Philippine Military Academy when the war began in the Philippines. In January 1942, he and his fellow PMA cadets organized the Hunters ROTC. In July, Adevoso took over the leadership of their group. The Hunters ROTC later engaged in intelligence, raids, and ambush operation against the Japanese. Among their most well-known activities were a raid on the new Bilibid prisons in June 1944 and the rescue of internees at the Los Baños internment camp in February 1945. After the war, Adevoso promoted the rights of fellow veterans. He served as the Secretary of Labor briefly in 1954 and Executive Assistant to President Diosdado Macapagal. As a fighter for freedom, he opposed the Marcos dictatorship and for this was incarcerated for two years before being released. Born in Lawag, Ilocos Norte, he was serving as superintendent of the Philippine Military Academy at the advent of the Second World War. As Brigadier General, he organized the 1st Regular Division despite lack of munitions and supplies. He fought valiantly in Bataan and survived the Death March. Upon release, he joined the guerrilla movement but was arrested with his son on December 19, 1944. He was executed the following month and buried in an unknown grave. Born in Banget Abra, he joined the Philippine Army Air Corps in 1936. After the Japanese bombed air bases, destroying many Allied planes, he and his comrades flew the remaining planes and fought back. Later on, they were ordered to join the Filipino and American forces in Bataan. William Moore soon joined Quezon in the Corregidor and escaped captured by the Japanese. He then turned to intelligence work and helped coordinate guerrilla units through the Philippines. <music>